Hello everyone, this is Stephanie from Little Stephanie Big World here and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my Traveler's Notebook travel journal when we went to Portugal from Christmas and New Year's Eve 2019 into 2020. We went for 17 days and I took this Traveler's Notebook, this is the first time I'm using something like this and I have a video of how I'm setting this up um, what inserts I'm taking with me, what supplies. I also have a video of me journaling, doing all this in Portugal. So I have some collage of that. I have a video of how I'm doing the cover. And I'm going to be doing a flip through with just music as well. So if you just want to see the tra this traveler's notebook, this flip through without me talking, just have a look in the description below. So I used a lot of the supplies that I took with me, a lot of the washi tape, the stickers and the papers that I used. But I collected a lot of travel memorabilia like this map and, and stuff. I bought some more washi tape, some more stickers while we were there. And I only used this one traveler's notebook. I had a second one with me just in case but I didn't use it. So all the 17 days are documented in the 60 pages. And it got a little bit thick, but not too thick, and it's really full of memories. And my third insert that I took with me was this one, to keep track of all the details of our travel, of our budget and our lists. And I really used this a lot, like what we're going to be doing. I crossed um, a lot of things, we did quite a lot of things in um, in Portugal. So we went to Lisbon for two days at the beginning, went for five days to Coimbra for a whole week to Porto and then back to Lisbon. And I was able to keep up with our budget on a day-to-day -day basis because we are used to this, my husband and me, we were doing this for years. And just to show you, um, on just four days we spent more than what I've budgeted and not a lot more, the, this one was the most, 22 euros over the budget, but on everything else we were under the budget, so we ended up with 200, nearly 250 euros under the budget. So if you want to see this in more detail, if you want to know what we spent the money on, um, just let me know, I can do a more detailed um, video on this. I counted, we counted the steps, so we averaged nearly 15,000 steps a day. And I kept some lists of what we ate. Well, with the natas, we Marcus did not even eat ten natas in the whole time. I only ate like three, but we had a lot of different other foods. And with the drinks, yeah, I had a lot of tea. He had a lot of beer and a lot of coffee. And we drank quite a few port wines, but not too many cocktails. And with the luggage, um, we had two kilos more when we flew back, but that is basically all the travel memorabilia that I had with me. Um, there's nothing more. So yeah, if you want to see this in more detail, let me know in the comments below. But for now, we're going to concentrate on this. So, I did a lot of journaling there, but it was most of the time I was one or two days behind. So the last two days, I actually did them when I was back, back at home. And yeah, we went to, um, we flew from Frankfurt, so we had to take the train on the 19th of December 2019 to get to Frankfurt, um, which was okay. We were in the kids area and we got some chocolate and a toy for, for our daughter. Oh no, this is coming off. No, I, I was doing this, this is the inside, this is the inside of a, of a crisp package. And then I had this paper with me, but apparently this is not sticking, so I have to do something else. I did some journaling. I did the stamping before we went, so um, and I had this craft paper um, stamps cut out beforehand as well. And this is all travel memorabilia that I collected. There's some more washi tapes here, and then it was horrible. The check-in was horrible. Security, the boarding, the flight because there was so much turbulences. It was raining. It was windy. We nearly got sick. So. I got this sick bag with me because we really, really needed this. Almost, we almost needed this. So we arrived exhausted in this spawn. It took ages for our luggage to arrive, and the hotel we stayed was not really good. We didn't have vegetarian food for for my husband because he's vegetarian. It was a bad start into our journey. 
And in the sick bag, I've kept some um, detail, some stuff from our accommodation. And this is the transport system um, from the metro that we took. It was raining, it was windy, it was really horrible. Oh, the start was not very good. So I put the map on the back of the um, of the sick bag. The next day, it was a very, very rainy day as well, so we went from cafe to cafe. So I put um, some stuff, some sugar bag again here, and this is the business card from our favorite cafe in, um, in Lisbon, so we went there again. And I put some um, tea bag um, uh, from signs as tabs so I did this all throughout the journey because I drank a lot of tea thought that was funny but we went to the time out market was really really nice um, these are cutouts from from some magazines that that we had from this barn so we walked around we had some some nice food um, we walked very steep hills the nights were not very really good I, I don't know our, our daughter had some real really problems to this time to um, I don't know to to get used to to the fact that we are somewhere else she, she just didn't like it the start was really really bad so um, after two days um, two really really rainy days we wanted to get from this bond to Coimbra but because of the rains our train got cancelled so we had to change to this station here to get on a bus and the bus went from Lisbon over here to Coimbra. We had a long wait, it was completely full, but we finally arrived in Coimbra. In between, we had some coffee, so I put some sugar back here as well. It was a real adventure, yeah, uh, finding that out, um, finding a right bus, getting um, on the bus finally, but uh, the, the bus was on time. So. This is the accommodation that we stayed there, and there was a very, very nice Italian restaurant close by where we went for dinner. And yeah, this is from a beer bottle. My husband was able to, to get it off with paper, uh, with water, so I could use it in here from the beer there. So yeah, it was, uh, it was at least a nice evening. And um, at last, not, uh, our daughter slept very, very good that night. So it was a really lazy day. The next day we, we got out, we got to a cafe and we had this pastel de Santa Clara, which we didn't like too much, but we had it, so we checked that. And then we just walked around. Um, we had lunch in an Italian restaurant where our daughter had a lot of um, fans and yeah, we had some burgers for, for dinner. We navigated everything by smartphone and some shops where we went they were actually closed or you couldn't find them anymore. It was a lot of walking around. And the next day was very fantastic. Um, we went to the University of Coimbra and we got into the palace and the Jesus um, College. So I did a flip out of one of the um, leaflets that you get and this is the complex up there that you can see. That you can visit and we went into the famous library the Joanin library is really really beautiful really really worth it going there and in the ticket there's also a museum included a science museum in two different buildings so we went into both of them and we did all of this in the morning so you can easily do this um, in, in, in one half a day and then we went into the botanical garden, which is like right next to the museums and had a walk around there. But it wasn't as beautiful as it looks on this page because it was winter time. We've been there in December. This is the 23rd of December. So um, we went back into the city center after that. And in the evening, we went to a Fado, um, yeah, how do you call it, session? So this is the, the postcard that we found and we went there and it was really, really nice. It was really good. Natalie was, um, luckily she was very quiet. And then we had sushi, takeaway sushi in the evening. It was really good. Um, and then on this side, I just decided to do a collage, um, like the paper from the university, um, piece from the bottle of wine. This is all from the wine. Some washi tape, stickers, um sticky notes, some um, uh, yeah, map tag that I took with me 
and then again a tea bag as a tap. And the next day, the 24th of December, it's my birthday, so we had a um, big breakfast. <laughs> um, I had some fish, which was really nice, before we went out for the day. We wanted to go to the Monastery de Santa Cruz, and there's a new one, and there's the old one. And the old one is down there, closer to the river, and because of all the rain, because of the floodings, you couldn't go into that. Um, so we had to go to the new monastery, which is nice as well. Um, we had a really nice view there and walk around. It was really really great. We had um, something uh, something to see for for the afternoon, and then we went back. And we had some chocolate chocolate crab chocolate kebab, and we were so full. We decided to not have a proper lunch. Uh, we gave our daughter something proper to eat, but we decided to wait until the dinner to have a big dinner for my birthday, and then found out that all the restaurants were closed. They were all closed because of Christmas and you know I put this in here I, I've got this um, magazine from a supermarket close to us and I, I imagined my Christmas my Christmas birthday dinner like this you know some massive food and nice cutlery and in the end we had some warmed up food in our hotel because this was the only proper warm food that we could get and this is from the paper cutlery bag so I cut this out and put it there and we had it really late for two hours we tried to find a restaurant so I could have a nice dinner but we didn't but yeah it's okay it's okay it's fine so on the first um, Christmas day 25th of December I put a map here and I had some some stickers and Christmas stickers here and this is from a bag of sweets so I cut that out and put it with some paper up here, wrote a little bit, and the stamping, I did the stamping before. It's a map of Quimper, and we basically stayed um, somewhere here, and this is where all the sightseeing is happening. But on that day, we decided to walk up here, went into this little park, went down here, and around the university. We just walked around, visited some parts, went to a little cafe, and then we had, um, I think we had sushi again in the in the evening. And um, yeah, it was not, our daughter skipped a nap, so it was very, very uh, difficult. The afternoon was very difficult with her, but she fell asleep quite early because of that. The next day um, we packed our bags and this is just from a yogurt that we had, this is from the apple, you know, just a sticker. And we took a train to Porto and we arrived uh, in a very, very narrow uh, room, uh, not the room itself, like the doors to that, um, to that accommodation it was very narrow, it was hard to get our stuff in and we, we got... Um, yeah, some, some late food. Um, we went to this restaurant, but it was completely full, so we just had takeaway. Luckily, they do takeaway. It was fantastic. It was really, really nice. So we had quite a lot of takeaway and Asian food while we were there. And the accommodation was okay in Porto, but it wasn't really um, what we needed or what, it, what we, we should have booked for our daughter. So the next accommodation, we cancelled that, we were there and looking for something else when we go back to Lisbon to, to find something. And yeah, poor guy, I'm writing this down because um, my husband slept very, very badly and he got sick. You know, when the journey started, my, hus my, my daughter and I were really, really sick and it got better with us, but then he got worse. But yeah, I, I found this little um, guy here in, in a leaflet. Uh, at the Tourist Information Center, and I thought he's so cute. As I put this here, welcome to Porto. And I have some more of him later on. The next day, um, we went to this little scrapbooking shop, and it was really cute, but really, really tiny. So I just bought some stamps. Um, I like the business card. Then we walked down this very, very famous um, alley. Um, and then down to the sea, I just put some more cutouts here from, from leaflets. And then we went into an Italian restaurant for lunch, which was really, really nice. And we walked 
some more we had some more nata and this is what i'm talking about this, this, this is he's looking so cute I, I wish i had some more you know images of of this guy it was really nice um we crossed the bridge to the other side um and then there was an offer of five ports like really small um amounts for just five euros and there was a market there as well um, and we decided, oh yeah, we're gonna go there, we're gonna have the ports the next day. So I did a little collage, you know, see this guy is so, so nice. So I just did a little collage here and put another map here in a bigger thing. So this is from Porto. And we crossed the bridge here and this is where all the wine cellars are. And we basically had our accommodation up here. So from there we always walked down here. Uh, um, visited the different sites and then on this side as well. So just closing this up. On this side, it's um, it's a more close up. So we stayed here, uh, approximately here, somewhere here, and then just down the road. And then everything, all the sightseeing stuff is happening around here and here, and all the wine cellars. So, the next day, we wanted to go up the tower, but the waiting was over one hour, so we skipped that. And we wanted to go into the library, the little library, uh, not, not, not library, like a uh, bookshop. And it, there was a massive view as well, so instead we went to the other side, went to the market, had a really, really nice lunch. And then we went into this Porto Cruz house um, and visited the exhibition on the first and second floor but it was not too too great so we didn't stay long and then we went back to the tower and there was another waiting another queue of 45 minutes so we skipped that and then we got in line for the bookshop and because of our daughter I got priority so I could go in part you know just skip the queue and get in and it's so beautiful. I, re I love books. I'm a bookworm, so it was really, really nice. Um, now our daughter slept, so we went into a cafe. I was able to, to catch up on my journaling. And then we, we tried to get on the tower again. They said, no, come back the next morning, early in the morning, like at 9 a.m., right when they open. And that's what we did. We got up at 7, we were there at quarter to 9, and we were the first ones to go in and go up this massive tower. So I cut that out from for me leaflet and this is our one of our tickets that we got and we had a fantastic view from up there. Then we walked down to the riverfront and made a river cruise um, from this side. So it went goes down here and then over to this side. It's nearly an hour I think or an hour and a half or something. And it was really nice. It was a sunny day. It was not too windy. Um, we, we got uh, over the, the bridge after after the cruise and went to the market, had some really, really nice lunch there. There were a lot of motorbikes, I think, uh, that day because it was a sunny Sunday, so everyone's going there. And this is from our dessert, so there were little, little sweets in this packet, so I put one of them in here. So... Our daughter slept again, so we walked around, we had some more um, some more um, tea and beer in a cafe and just enjoyed the sunshine. Um, yeah, and we had, uh, had a lovely day. The next day we did a day trip to Goimaris, I don't know how to pronounce that. We had something from a bakery for the day trip and this is uh, the cutout of the map of of the city center where we walked around and there's a castle here and a little palace here and it was so nice to walk around the city we really really enjoyed this day we got there really late like at afternoon in like lunchtime so we only had a few hours and our daughter slept when we arrived at the palace and the castle because of all the stairs with the sleeping baby, we decided to not go in, but we enjoyed the sunshine. We enjoyed just to walk around the city. Um, it was it was just nice. Yeah, this is uh, what we saw there. We went back. We had some Chinese food, which we loved. We had some port wine. Um, yeah, and just it was just a nice day. The next day it was New Year's Eve, the thirty first of December. 
and we did another day trip. We went to Praga and there is this famous Bomb Jesus um, church. But instead of walking up there, we, we, we took this um, tram, like water power tram, um, to go up and it was really nice. Um, but instead of using, this is actually a return ticket, instead of using the return ticket, we walked down the stairs. It was really nice weather. Uh, our daughter was not sleeping, so we didn't have to, uh, to carry her all the way. Um, and then we had some lunch in a in a cafe, walked around and drove back to the train station. This is the old ticket for the for the trains. We went back to uh, Porto and just spent some time in our room. And from our experience, the last time we went to Port, um, Portugal, we went outside just shortly after 11 p.m., like 11.20, we went outside to go and see the fireworks. The main street was closed, so we had to go onto a rooftop of the metro station, but we had a really, really great view of the fireworks. And I picked up a 500 euro note that they blow up in the air to have a prosperous uh, new year. I picked it up again. I did that before as well. I did a f I'm did. going to be doing a flip through of my other scrapbook. Um, so if you want to subscribe to my channel you can see that but I have a flip through of that with just music so yeah there we are in the year 2020 happy new year this is the only page in Porto that I actually filmed doing because in our accommodation we didn't have a table so I couldn't I couldn't process video I couldn't film all what I did before this was the only page because we when we um, we're on a train back to Lisbon, we stayed in a little lounge. So on the 1st of January we stayed in uh, Porto, we just walked around a little bit, bought some souvenir in this in this little shop, we had some traditional um, king's cake, polo de la Rey. we went to a cafe, we just um, went to a little garden, had a good view from there over Porto, and then in the evening we went back to that Chinese restaurant and actually got in and it was fantastic, fantastic view. This is a coaster there, so I put the coaster in here. It makes it really chunky, really big, but it was really good, really nice. On the 2nd of January, so we checked out and we stayed in this little lounge here and that's where I was able to film making this, this page. And it was really nice uh, lunch, it's vegetarian friendly and uh, they're really good. So just because of this leaflet that I picked up at the tourist information, we actually noticed this um, this little lounge very close to us. So we stayed there until we had to leave, until we had to take our, our train back to Lisbon. And the train was, um, was on time, really good, and our daughter slept, but in Lisbon we had to um, get by tram to our accommodation and yeah I noted we bought a ticket to get there but we bought the train ticket not a metro ticket so that's something we, we learned it's, it's not the same um, we had an apartment this time uh, so we had our own kitchen and everything but we still decided to go out for for dinner and we had some some really nice dinner close by so on the 3rd of January, this was our last full day and we wanted to make most of it. So we got up early, we went um, by the Elevado da Bica, which, is, which was close to our apartment, down um, to the bus station, we took the bus to the Euronimus um, Monastery, we took some pictures there and from the Seefahrer Denkmal and from the Tore de Belém, then we took the bus back to the timeout market. This is a business card from where I had lunch. And then we took the metro and the bus to get to the Crystal Ray, to the Christ, Christ statue and took some pictures there. Our daughter was asleep the whole time and then we got on the bus back to our accommodation. We went into a supermarket, got something to eat we went to our apartment and then uh, after dinner we, we decided to go out again to get some food for our um, flight back home 
And while we were outside and all the lights were up, we took so many pictures. We went to the Rua Augusta, we went to Paul, have some 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 nearly midnight snack, like it was 10 p.m. And we wanted to get on the tram number 28. We waited and waited for over half an hour. By then two of these trams should have passed and in the end we walked. And then it passed us and I decided to go on the tram. I went on the tram just for one stop and got off, but I was on the tram, so <laughs> I made it. So yeah, on the 1st of January, we took the metro to the airport uh, of Lis Lisboa. We had lunch at Burger King, and luckily we had a big lunch there, because our flight was delayed. This is just a check from, from our buggy. Our flight was delayed, and when we arrived back in Frankfurt, it took ages for our luggage to arrive, and then we had to nearly run for our for our train, so we didn't have time to get a proper dinner for us. So we got a priority ticket, but it didn't help. It it took our luggage was nearly the last one to arrive, and it was evening, like ten thirty p.m. We finally arrived at home and. We were really exhausted. We, we were finally back home. So our journey to get to, to Portugal and the journey back these two days were really horrible. Um, so I don't know, in between we had a great time. So I made, I put this uh, envelope out, made out of a map that I took with me uh, in the back here. And this is actually from the coffee, you know, the, the, the coffee um, that you get on the plane. But it's got these nice images from from this boa says coffee from Portugal and this is the sugar bag so I kept this put this in here and that's it that's it for our our trip and they flip through of this journal I hope you like this um, I'm gonna be doing a proper travel scrapbook of this journey as well putting in pictures I don't have a, like an Instax uh, camera printer for for when you're um, on the go but yeah, hope you like this. Have a happy and safe travel and scrapbook on. Bye.